You guys are good. You're naturals. Hi, welcome back. Uh, so glad you're with us. We have some gifted young minds here today, the Project Scientists, and they have a fun experiment that they're going to share with us. The group's founder, Sandy Marshall. Thanks for joining us, Sandy. Uh, so first, why don't you introduce our young scientists here? Yeah, we have um, Kaylin and Allison. They're from Longfellow Elementary right here in Pasadena, and they are scholarship recipients because they love science, and they're so gifted and talented at math and science that they'll come for I five weeks. I can see they're natural. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit about what Project Scientist is? Sure. Um, so Project Scientist is a summer academy, um, and we're here for our first summer in Pasadena at Caltech. Um, five weeks for girls 4 to 14. And we do anything from marine um, and wildlife to animals to um, coding. Um, and we're just looking for girls. Is this daily? Is it overnight? It's all day, all day, um, five weeks during the summer. Wow. When does that start? Um, we start uh, June 8th, and we'll go through the end of July. Now, I heard on the status of the Commission of Women, they mm -hmm. spoke specifically of STEM and really wanting to move young women into these areas. So you, you nailed it. You're starting young, and you, you have the sciences that you're working. But let's That's talk cool. about, because um, what we understand, if, if I'm correct, is that young girls are interested in science, and then they drop out. Right. What, what happens? Yeah. What, what is the psychology behind that? Mm -hmm. um, why do they stop being interested in the STEM? Uh, yeah. Well, a couple reasons. They lose their confidence um, due to a lack of role models, mm -hmm. and especially if they're going in a non-traditional career, like mechanical engineering or something like that. Not a lot of role models that they can look up to and learn from. Um, and girls are just as good at boys yes, at math and science, are. and they yes. love math and science, um, but we, we encounter some gender stereotyping as well. So even though a girl may have interest in electrical engineering and, and taking things apart and putting them together, um, by the time they hit middle school and high school, it just doesn't become the norm. So, so tell us what you want to make for us today. There's something special yeah. that you're doing. So, so the girls are going to make... They're making lava lamps. You could do this at home, super easy. Um, it teaches your kids about density. Um, so we have oil, we have water, food coloring, and Alka-Seltzer. Pretty simple stuff. All right. So show us, girls, so, what are you yes. going to make? First, we put the oil. Simple enough. That looks great. Now you can see it's separating. Because the oil is lighter than the water. water. Oh, the oil is lighter than the water. Okay. You know, and then you Next have, looks like you coloring. have some, what is it? Food, food coloring. coloring. Food coloring. And, and you that's have just for artistic, uh, or is that some scientific thing that happens with that? As you tell, I'm terrible at science. <laughs> but I so, do know cooking, so I know. Did you have a well, lava lamp? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I see the little droplets in there. Are you going to mix it? Oil or? and vinegar. No. Okay. We put oh, the alka oh, oh, okay. okay. And then look out. Oops. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Can you, oh, look at how that's just brewing like that. Let's see. So we're making, it won't combust or anything, will it? <laughs> well, that would make for some good TV <laughs> okay. if it did. I, I think we'll be good. You, oh, did I turn your light off or is it on? I there we go. I turned off. it off. Oh, oh, there you go. There's your light. So in the dark, you'd probably see this a lot better. But yeah, so the girls are learning about, you know, so the gases amazing. being released from the alka cell And so the hole in the top. Uh, you don't need that. Allows the gas to come out or it doesn't? Uh, no, it's just what I can find at CVS. Oh, because there was a <laughs> straw that went in at CVS. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so now this what is, is supposed wonderful. to happen here? Is it just the bubbling? But lava yeah. lamps have a big glob that, that moves up and down. Yep. So we probably put uh, more Alka-Seltzer than we needed to. So that's got a... That's but I like the fizzing effect. Yeah. I think that makes that's it That's kind of neat, too. Yeah. more fun. Yeah. Now, if it's a real lamp, can you, can you actually turn this into a lamp or um, do you have to have a different jars and yeah. that kind of thing. Too. So these girls have made them before. They have them in their rooms at home and they continue to add Alka-Seltzer to make it bubble. Um, there's a flashlight they can put on underneath it to oh, make it light. Okay, let's try to do it. So, we'll try to do that right now. Okay. So what color do you have your lava laps at home? Mine, Mine is blue. Yours is blue? Mine is red and blue. Are you looking forward to the camp? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, congratulations, girls. That's Thank really you. exciting. Can you tell us uh, one last time about the camp and uh, yeah, go to girls that are going to yes. be interested, I'm sure, in, in getting involved in this? Projectscientist.org to learn more. Um, you can sign up your girls. We have scholarships available. And we are looking for female STEM superstars, um, women that come out and speak to our girls and tell them about their careers. So. 
Well, I hope you'll think about that then. All right. Well, Sandy, thank you for being here. Ladies, thank you so much for sharing uh, your, your artistic and scientific knowledge with us. And I'm looking forward to big things from you. You come back and tell us some other things that you do in the future? All right. Sounds well, great. Uh, we have a lot, a lot more, more coming, coming up, right? Up in the next hour of CC and Sunrise. You know, many of us are divided and riveted, not just divided, but riveted by the scenes coming out of Baltimore. We're going to talk about that in our Morning Buzz segment. And a lighter note, the strawberry treat cream cheese pie in a taste of sunrise. Can't wait for that. I will be taking all the strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. Thank you.